Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to The Contentment, a place where we pull together ideas from the world's creatives. I'm just going to start this one off. I cannot be fucked doing this. And I know it's probably the last thing that you want to hear watching something, but I don't know. Just showing up, doing the things. I'm just trying to do that. Got myself a little uh, yerba mate, green tea, coffee combination, just to go down while I um, get into this letter with you guys. I think before I get into the letter, this is a perfect place to start with with everything, like changing your life and the reason I'm making this video and all of the content is just fucking hard and all of the old parts of you even though you keep moving forward and growing they're all still going to be there it just gets easier to deal with and some days it's not as easy to deal with and that's fine it just is what it is but if on the days where you cannot be fucked and it is hard and you don't want to do anything if those days you do give up and you stop then you will go back or at least you won't progress and yes it's nice to relax and and be nice to yourself and all of that shit but you gotta show the fuck up every day and in my case might not be the same for you but anyway cheers to you checking in and excuse the serious <laughs> vibes i'm just um doing my thing so that ties in perfectly to this video which is wake up change your life with meditation and meditation is just one of the beautiful tools which has helped me tremendously with my own healing journey mental health whatever you want to call it feeling good enjoying my life meditation is 100% a cornerstone of that for the reasons that I'm going to outline in this video but you know if you're struggling with your own mental health and just like your body you're struggling with your weight and you're not doing anything about it and you're not actively training those muscles you're not actively eating you're not actively training your brain just like your body it's not going to change your mind and your mental health will not change if you are not practicing it and practicing getting better just like loving your life is also a practice all of it is a practice so if you are struggling I highly recommend starting just as a baseline a daily meditation practice just to just to start something and it might not work for you but it's worth a try reflecting back to when was it doesn't really matter the specific year but reflecting back to my time where things were really hard for me and I just thought everything was fucked and I didn't really see a way out of it and it was just a really bad time and fortunate enough I was listening to podcasts and I was trying to figure things out and trying to feel better but nothing was sticking and I was just listening to people and, and nothing was changing but what I did do shout out to Joe Rogan podcast with Sam Harris I I listened to the episode one day and Sam Harris talked about his new app, the Waking Up app, which he had just released. And yeah, that was, I was like, fuck it, I've got nothing to lose. Reached out, they gave me a free year membership and probably for a good couple of weeks, like a good couple of months, realistically, the only time where I felt happy or like things weren't fucked up is when I was meditating or I, I was using the app and so you know I think that's the same for everybody's mental health journey like it starts in little segments like you feel you feel good for a second and then you feel good for a minute and then you feel good for an hour and then you have a few good days and then you have a few good weeks and before you know it feeling good is just part of your daily routine and fuck that has not been that couldn't be more true for me I started off with a few minutes and then 
I'd look forward to doing it and then all of a sudden it started to trickle into everything and that is why meditation is so important because meditation is not about the act of practice when you sit down for 10 minutes meditation it carries over into every area of your life so it gives you tools to deal with things even when you're not actively meditating and fuck that's priceless because it trickles into everything it's not just that time on the cushion or the pillow or chair or whatever so getting glimpses of feeling good feeling stoked life feeling nice like maybe there is a way where i can do something maybe there is a way where there is like a possible future where i'm fucking happy maybe maybe and that is what for me meditation gave me it was detaching from all of the bullshit stories that i was telling myself and that had accumulated over a couple of years or however long it was and yeah i was able to move forward into now a place where i'm pretty fucking happy most of the time i still have my days and all of that and you know but 90 percent of the time i'm feeling super grateful and and if not happy just grateful to be here and i th- <laughs> i'm happy with that so much like you know Alan Watts, Ram Dass, all of these incredible spiritual teachers always talk about how suffering is formed in the mind. And the mind, just like your body, like I said before, the mind is a skill. If you're not honing the craft, actively participating and building that skill, then you will suffer more because your mind will be more chaotic. Learning to see thoughts and your sights and sounds and tastes and touch and everything, feelings. Getting to see all of that as appearances in what is already here. So rather than fully being attached to, you know, the negative emotion that pops up, you're you're aware that it's arising in this spacious place of consciousness where all things arrive. I know this is sounding super woo-woo and out of it, but the end of the day it is what i believe so fuck it i might as well just talk about it because it is how i believe things are and i feel like it's extremely valuable because then things start to pop up even real annoying negative things that you're able to see as appearing and you also see it disappear again you don't have to get super attached to it and having just even a brief moment of that during the midst of chaos where you're fucking just super unhappy it's it's a glimpse of maybe it's going to be okay and i feel like this tool for so many people you know to touch on like suicide and stuff like imagine if the people that have taken their own lives had a tool where they had a moment to just reflect before actually doing it or you know obviously i I can't speak on it i don't know what it's like but i just feel like if this was an open topic where we talked about mental health where we talked about tools and we talked about how to get through and how everybody suffers and we all have different ways and techniques and we weren't holding back and pretending like it doesn't exist then those people might still be here if all of those concepts for you are kind of like a little bit out there don't worry the waking up app has a 30 day like introduction to meditation course which it's incredible it just slowly takes you into the practice talks to you about what it's about and just introduces you to the practice of meditation without necessarily dropping you too far in the deep end of all of the terminology and all of the shit that you probably don't care about but just to give you a little insight into the creator of this app here's a quote by sam harris we spend nearly every moment of our lives lost in thought and hostage to the character of those thoughts You can break this spell, but it takes training just like training to defend yourself against a physical attack. Sam Harris. Looping back onto the things that I was saying before, training your mind is exactly like training your body. If you don't train to fight, then someone who trains to fight will fuck you up and that's just facts. Just like with your mind, if you're not training to resist and training to be able to fight, so to speak, negative thoughts then you will give in and your life will be more negative i know this is an extreme some people don't even struggle that hard so they don't even need tools and tips but again for me meditation has 100 percent changed the whole entire way i look at the world in such a positive way 
and it's given me the tools to um, like Sam Harris says fight off the assault so you know a lot of people like to be really fluffy with how they talk about stuff but like the reality is how the fuck do you expect for things to be better when you're not actively trying to make them better and in my case what was I thinking for however long it was <laughs> until actively trying to make things better you just you think that something's going to change or maybe you don't even have the willpower to make a change but the reality is to get shit you've never had before you have to do things you've never done before and yeah and you know what gives me what gives me the right to speak on this meditation and all of these things other than my own journey coming to where I'm at now I've also done over 730 meditation sessions on this app now over 6200 minutes of meditation 6700 minutes of meditation sorry not that that really matters but the point is like I've been actively in the app every day for more than two years and 100% has been such a pivotal part of my journey helping me see life for what it really is helping me want to achieve and pursue goals and actually things that I want to be doing with my life because it gives me a different perspective and a way to look at things so you know if you are even just wanting to pursue different shit and you're watching my content and you're not actually suffering or anything then meditation is also a beautiful tool to give you some space for creative energy to pop up and you can just do all of these different things because you're not attached to certain thoughts and ideas and you can be more in the flow state rather than in a potentially contracted state so meditation it's a game changer and we can look up all the neuroscience and the, the science-based research behind meditation andrew huberman beautiful podcast he talks about how useful and insightful meditation is and he's one of the top professors at stanford university and he's doing daily meditation with the waking up app you know if that's not something then I don't know what is, like what what other information do we need to understand that it's a good practice, you know, fuck, there's all of the hippies talked about it for so long and now it's science based and people still think that it's not important, if you don't train your mind then you will not get better, if you don't train your body you won't change, you won't gain muscle, if you don't change what you eat nothing about your body will change, you have to be active it doesn't change when it comes to your mind how you see the world and what you want from your life it's an active practice now i just want to quickly highlight that i'm in no way sponsored associated or anything like that with sam harris or the waking up app i just fucking love it it's changed my life tremendously and that is why i'm sharing this video that is why i'm putting this content out there because i truly believe that if one person can download this app and start their own meditation journey, they will notice that their life slowly starts to open up and change, just like mine did. So, yeah, again, in no way sponsored, but maybe one day, that'd be cool. So, with that being said, guys, daily practices help get you wherever you're trying to go. Whether that's daily training in the gym, whether it's daily skill-based stuff whether it's daily drawing daily business building daily mental health practice daily meditation daily breath work setting in stone daily practices for me has been the most fundamental thing that has changed my life and i wish you can all experience that and feel what it's like to start genuinely loving your life and feeling a way that you didn't even imagine possible before you ever suffered with anything how do you know what it's like to be the best version of yourself and to feel absolutely incredible when you've never felt it before you don't and the only way to get there is to do shit that you've never done before so with that being said start grow play let's get every last drop from this life and it starts with daily practices I wish you all the best for this year. We're already a month in. Start now. It's not too late. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for tuning in. 
sorry about the heaviness of today's video, but I'm also not sorry because it's the truth. I love you guys.